What's up Gunpla Modelers? This is Strider Prime bringing you another edition of Gundam Models. Today I am going to build the 1100 scale Gunner Zaku Warrior mobile suit from the Gundam Seed Destiny that came out a few, maybe three or four years ago. No, a little more than that, about four years ago. This is the uh, custom model, custom suit for this character where she likes to paint it, you know, it was all red. Kind of like a reddish, pinkish color. So it's, it's so it's, uh, you know, almost, it's almost the same color as the, uh, as the uh, Char Zaku, but not too much. Uh, I got this kit a few, maybe at last year, when there was a store in my town, in, the, in this state, excuse me, there's a store called Outer Limits. That was, uh, if, for those of you who live in New Jersey, it was a store located on Route 46 in Clifton. It's no longer there anymore. Um, but I picked this, this was like the last kit I picked up from that store. Now, why am I building this kit? For those of you who are not aware, the reason why I'm building this kit is because Too Old for Toys is, gonna, is holding a uh, contest, another contest. Um... Anybody who anybody can join in, you know, they can build whatever kit they want, whether it's a, a Gundam suit, a, a, an Evangelion suit, um, or a Macross suit, whatever, as long as it's a robot. The only difference is it has to be painted at least 70% of it yellow. And that's my focus on this kit. I'm going to change the paint skew a bit. So it will reflect what the uh, contrast entry is requ is required. Let's look at the contents of this kit and see what we have what we have to work with. Here's the manual. We'll, we'll go over through this in a moment. Now, unlike Master Grade kits, the No Grade 1100 scale kit parts tend to be slightly overcompensated in size. I've kind of noticed this for quite some time. Um, I almost got my hands on a Force Impulse Gundam No Grade. And since I already have the Master Grade, I would have liked to purchase it and show a side-by-side -side comparison and what's the big difference. Now, of course, there is no Master Grade version of the Zaku, and I don't know if... Uh, of the Zaku Warrior, excuse me. And I don't think Bandai is going to look into making that as a Master Grade. They have some cool kits out there, and even though this one's okay in my book, they should uh, focus on what's important. But like I was saying before, the parts kind of is slightly bigger in a way. I kind of think of it as a as a stretched hybrid with just added extra parts. But build time on this kit would probably not take forever. As a matter of fact, I I'm pretty much anticipating the fact that this kit's going to take you know no more than uh, maybe a few hours to build it. But I'm not going to build it just yet. Now, this one comes with this special display stand of the character, which I guess is to cut costs. I guess they didn't want to make a pl an all plastic kit for you to paint. Here's the shields, the armor. Spikes, polycap. I haven't seen polycaps in a long time. All right, so let's look. Let's review the manual. Uh, of course, the character's name is uh, Luna Marie Hawk. So, sorry for those of you who think I didn't remember it. Well, not in the fact that it's right here. Alright, so. Full colored uh, instructions on the parts. 
I count a little over 140 or 150 parts. So yeah, it's kind of like building a high grade. This covers the, this covers the chest, the head, weaponry. I always did like the that side shield with the, with the spikes at the end. There's the arms. And this part focuses on the waist unit, the feet, the legs. On assembly and the heavy beam cannon. Alright, so obviously this is the color guide, but what do we need to focus on? I mean, I, what is it that I need to work on on this kit just so I can make it the way I want it? Fair enough. The arms the legs from here here that trim here and here this this and the head oh and this is yellow however yellow with a burgundy red does not look like it's gonna gonna be um, a good match I have to think of some color that will offset that will be almost in the same line as yellow and doesn't throw off the pattern. See, painting it yellow is not is one is 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 one thing, but getting it to match with the others is is another. And I don't think it will look good if I paint everything yellow. Obviously, the darker parts will be left alone. The the white, this, that, and the uh, weaponry. But it still has to have some sort of two tone color. So that's what we have to focus on. And for that, I have a way of showing you this. Let me demonstrate. Now then, what you see here are two images. To my left is a, is the original line art of the uh, Zaku Warrior of the Gunner Zaku Warrior, provided by uh, Google Images that I did a search recently. But to my right is me painting it. The color that I think would it, what would it look like um, after it's completed. Notice that I decided to make the um, armor, like the uh, trim, the white trim, like completely red, and then everything else is yellow. This part here, where the uh, skirts and the side armor, or the chest armor. Uh, not chest, uh, you know, basically part of the um, of the uh, body armor, made it into some sort of mustard gold type uh, paint. Now, looking at this, I thought, eh, maybe that would be a good idea. Um, but I'm not too fond of it. I, I like the trim of the uh, gray. That's going to stay. But I don't know about the red. Maybe the red is a little too much. I'm going to try something else, and then you tell me what you think. Now, if you see in this color pattern, I decided to keep the internal part, like that burgundy red, with the white trim in the front uh, exhaust here and here, and under here. Uh, this couldn't be painted individually, the, the grenades, but that can be taken care of. And, of course, the white trim on the... Um, side shield, the um, shoulder shield, and the thrusters. So in turn, it will look like that. You know what? Let's make this as a vote. Tell me which one should I paint it in what format? Should I paint it like this? Or should I paint it like that? Let's do a vote. Should I paint the left one or the right one? We'll keep this video up for a week. Alright? 
let me know, guys. Thanks.